you know, te tennis was my, my love, um, uh, uh, but I never wanted to l allow tennis to become my master. John Newcomb is an Australian tennis legend. He won 26 Grand Slam titles and was world number one in both singles and doubles. He was also a student once. My dad had uh, always insisted that I, you know, needed to get an education. He, he was a dentist. My studies in secondary school were, were geared towards accountancy. Um, I don't believe I would have become an accountant, a little bit boring for me. You know, in the end, getting through high school is important, but the, the, you know, you, all you are is entering into the big world out there and, and how you conduct yourself in the big world is probably much more important. Got a couple of six, sixes on the bum from the headmaster, uh, which I would have liked to avoid, but <laughs> unfortunately got caught out doing a few naughty things. What were those naughty things? Oh, I can't tell that. <laughs> Tennis kind of caught my fancy. I enjoyed the game. I was, you know, born with a natural hand-eye coordination, uh, so I gravitated towards ball sports. And uh, tennis was one that I, I started playing at eight years of age. I had this dream that I would um, play tennis for Australia, and uh, I would play at Wimbledon. Other training I'd do, I'd just go up to the local oval by myself and do wind sprints and and um, you know a lot of stomach exercises and exercises to build up your arms and that and but uh, you know I don't want to sound like I was just maniac uh, out there just concentrating on that because I spent a lot of time <laughs> riding my bike with my friends and and you know running around the bush that was available in Longueville at, uh, at that time. When I think of what my greatest uh, achievement was um, I suppose it was um, marrying the right person. <laughs> uh, and, you know, we're still married uh, 52 years later and uh, three wonderful children and uh, six grandchildren. We got married when I was 21 and Angie was 20 and we met in Hamburg in, in Germany at a tennis tournament and we played at Wimbledon in the mixed doubles a couple of times. Um, did do real well, <laughs> but uh, it, it, it was fun and, and, you know, having that mutual interest that I think it probably helped that uh, she understood what I was going through and you look back and think, well, the number of times that she looked after the kids when they were crying at night so I could sleep and, and that. So uh, after it was all over, uh, all the career and that, I said, well, you know, what do you want to do now? Apart from family, I think one of the greatest things you can have as you develop in, in life is to have very close friends who uh, tell you the truth. I developed uh, you know, a lot of friendships outside of tennis um, who, you know, 60 years later, uh, they're still my closest friends. What a tremendous day for John Newcomb. Never be afraid to dream. Dreams are fun and uh, to try to follow them is even a lot more fun and try and make them become successful.